What's going on guys? So I'm out here hitting the trails, getting my last uh, training ruck in before I have to do the uh, baton death march next week, which is a whole marathon worth of uh, ruck marching. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a good time. I think it will be challenging. Um, I've done the uh, baton death march before, but um, this time it's all done virtual. So it's up to me and me alone to make sure that I get it done and be as motivated as possible to do it around my own little area. Um, which to me makes that more of a you know mental challenge because there's not I'm not going to be doing it with a whole bunch of other people there's not like a set track to go get it done on I just have to kind of figure out my own route um, and take it from there and make sure I get it done myself so but we're still going to get it done um, and I'm really looking forward to it and I think it's still going to be a really good time you know over the years of uh, being in the military and uh, being really into fitness and training and all that stuff um, I really I've really grown quite partial to ruck marching. I really like to ruck march. I, I do it at least once a week, usually about two times a week, varying distances from, you know, six miles to all the way up to 20 plus miles sometimes. And every now and then I'll push myself even further and, and go further than that. Anyway, I'm just out here taking a nice leisurely stroll today. Um, not, not blowing any O-rings out today, just kind of taking my time with the ruck, getting my mind right, loosening up the muscles and getting in a little active recovery before uh, my baton death march coming up next weekend. And so I thought I'd also take the opportunity to talk to you guys a little bit about what the benefits are for ruck marching. And there's a lot of benefits. I think you'd be surprised. You know, there's health, mental, and even, even spiritual benefits to, to walking out around with a big bag on your back. And also this video counts for the uh, contest that we're doing where we're giving away a uh, free DG3 ruck from Crossfire. It's actually the ruck that I'm wearing on my back right now. One lucky person following this channel is going to win a completely free DG3 ruck just like this. Uh, comes in coyote color, completely free, shipped to your door. All you have to do is like, subscribe, comment, and hit the little notification bell on this video because you don't want to miss the next few videos because those are going to be part of the drawing as well. And collectively, all the videos that have been happening within the last couple weeks of this contest, the, co the po comments are going to be pulled from those videos. They're going to be vetted to make sure that that person is liking and subscribing as well. And one of those people is going to be drawn out of the hat as uh, the lucky winner for the DG3 rucksack. So don't forget to do those things. Make sure to enter your name into the contest. It's a pretty sweet deal. All right, so let's get into the benefits of ruck marching. Number one, it burns a lot more calories than just walking alone. Ruck marching or uh, walking around with a big bag on your back is gonna help you burn two to three times more calories than just walking. For the average person out there carrying around 10 to 20% of their body weight on their back, they're gonna be burning anywhere between 100 and 150 calories per mile. So that's pretty good, especially if you're somebody who hates running. And those calories add up pretty quick. You could, you could just go out there and ruck, you know, three miles carrying 20 pounds and you're gonna be burning uh, around 300 to what, 450 calories. That's not too bad especially since you're just kind of out here walking around in the woods or wherever you want to walk around at. Um, it's not a bad way to burn some calories. And it's easy to burn even more. If you just add a little bit more weight to your back, you'll end up burning more calories. The more weight, more calories. That's how it works. So right off the bat, it's a really easy way to burn calories and lose some extra weight that you're trying to lose for really anybody out there. All right, and since we're comparing it to running, let's go ahead and talk about benefit number two, and that is that it's a lot less stressful on your body than running would be. The impact in your body and your joints and everything is a lot less than it would be if you were out there running, especially long distances. Uh, it's about 70% less actually, meaning you could do it a lot more often for a lot longer with a lot less potential consequences. And in fact, rucking is actually going to be a lot better for your body overall um, over time because it's going to help to strengthen all the ligaments, strengthen the joints, build up that bone density. Or for those of you that already have existing injuries or existing uh, physical issues that you're dealing with that hinder you from running or doing cardio in general, rucking might be the answer for you. And if you're worried about the extra weight, you don't have to start off heavy. Um, you know, I would recommend you start off with 10% of your weight or maybe just a 10 pound pack to get out there to help you build up the capacity where you can eventually ruck with more weight and get even more out of it. But either way, the risk of injury is much lower than if you wanted to go out there and go for a run. In fact, it's actually gonna help your joints and ligaments get stronger over time. And that's gonna bring us into number three. So the third big benefit of ruck marching is that it actually does help you build strength. 
Contrary to popular belief, ruck marching is a full body exercise and it absolutely will help you to build muscle. So obviously the longer you go and with the more weight that you have on your back, the harder your legs are gonna have to work, which is going to over time build the muscle in your legs. So if you're looking for a good leg workout, ruck marching is the way to go. But it also helps build muscles in the core and in the back. As you're rucking, it's not just your legs doing all the work. Your core is actually compensating for a, a lot, a good majority of the resistance that the ruck is causing while it's hanging off your back. So you're constantly engaging the core the entire time you're out there rucking. In fact, I'm touching my, uh, my abs right now and they're flexed. Okay, so it's working. Not only that, but because the bag is actually hanging off your back, your traps are engaged the entire time you're out here walking around. That's why if you've ever gone out there with a bag on your back for a long time, maybe you've never ruck marched, but you've like been in the airport for a long time, you take your backpack off and your traps hurt, it's because they were activated that entire time trying to compensate for that weight that you were carrying. And that's also why soldiers have really strong backs, okay? It's not the lat pull down bar, it's because they're ruck marching all the time. So it doesn't matter if you're like a gym rat or you're trying to build muscle from scratch, ruck marching is going to be good for you. It's going to help you build muscle or sustain the muscle that you already have. And since we are beating up the back so much, let's go on and move to number four. Uh, the fourth big benefit of ruck marching, okay, this one's really important, and that's that it really does help you build better posture with your body. Once you throw on that heavy backpack on your back and you start walking, your body immediately tries to put itself into pr uh, proper alignment and build better posture for itself. It pulls the shoulders back, opens up the chest, and straightens out the spines so that you're actually walking in the posture that you were meant to in the way that it's best for your body and the most healthy. And this is something that's going to continue to improve more and more over time as you ruck march more frequently. If you're brand new to rucking, the first few times you throw on the back and go for a walk, you're gonna notice that your shoulders hurt, it's gonna feel a little unnatural to you, it's gonna feel like it's pulling, all right? That's just because the body is attempting to put itself back into proper posture alignment. But again, as I said, the more and more you do it, the easier and more comfortable it's gonna feel, the more natural it's gonna feel, and the better off it's gonna be for you physically. And if you give it a chance, and you actually go out there and start getting used to rucking, your posture is gonna get better. Even when you're not even out there rucking, your posture will build better by itself. And that's something that we're all after. There's not one person out there that won't benefit from better posture in their life. And speaking of long-term health benefits, let's move on to the fifth benefit of ruck marching, and that is that it helps your heart. Because you're stepping it out with a little bit extra weight on your back, your heart rate's gonna be bumped up a lot further more than if you were just out here walking around. And really, while you're out there rucking, you'll build up a heart rate that's pretty comparable to that of jogging. Okay, so that's pretty good. And with that being said, we can easily say that ruck marching counts as cardio. So whether you're just trying to get healthier in your life or your doctor is ordering you to get some more cardio workouts in, you can go out there with a ruck on your back, walk around a little bit, and you've done your cardio workout for the day. And because it gets your heart rate up, it's really good for endurance athletes or just regular people to build up your endurance or to act as an active recovery for those who are used to higher cardio workout sessions who just need a little bit more recovery but want to sustain themselves or for those who are just starting out and need to build up that cardio capacity ruck marching is the way to go it's a good all-around mid-level cardiovascular exercise not to mention all the positive health benefits that cardiovascular training has for you, especially over time. You know, just going out there and doing a ruck once a week is going to significantly reduce the potential for cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, uh, blood clots, you know, things like that. So it's a great thing to go do to stay healthy. And since we're talking about health, we want to remember we, we want to consider holistic health and fitness, right? So let's talk about the sixth benefit, um, which is health of the mind. Rucking significantly helps you build resilience in the mind. That's because you're walking around out there with extra weight on your back. Sometimes your shoulders hurt, your legs hurt, and sometimes you just have to find that mental fortitude to keep pushing forward to actually make it to the end goal. Whatever distance you set out to do that day, you have got it in your mind that no matter what, you're gonna get it done. And the more and more you actually ruck march, the more and more you're gonna be able to build that mental fortitude and that resilience to actually push forward and, and get your goals done when you set them. Not only that, but there's a lot of times, and I'm a really good example of this, happens to me all the time, there's a lot of times where you go out there and you just kinda hit a trail and you go. And sometimes you get lost or you have to at least try to figure out your way back. And I can tell you from experience, years of experience, when you're out there in the woods and you're already sucking and now you're having a problem solve to help you find your way back so that you can just be done, 
you know, that really does build resilience in the mind. So that might have been a benefit you never thought about, but it's it's definitely an important one. And at the beginning of the video, I also mentioned spirituality, all right, and the uh, spiritual fitness. Now, I'm not talking about religion or anything like that, but just helping you to get more in tune with yourself, more in tune with with uh, earth and, and nature, right? And so let's talk about the seventh health benefit. And that is that it gets you outside. I like to do the majority of my rucking out in the woods and trails. I like to go out there and try to find new trails that I haven't been to before, go exploring. Even if I run the risk of getting lost, I like to go out there and just enjoy my time out in the woods. And honestly, it helps me to go a lot further um, with my fitness, rucking in particular, when I'm out here just enjoying myself, taking some time away from myself. That's the kind of spiritual fitness I'm talking about, and that's the kind of spiritual fitness that rucking is going to offer to you. I'd say people worry mostly about physical fitness, and then sometimes they'll think about mental fitness, but often do they forget about spiritual fitness, and that one's very important as well. It's kind of like a triad effect. If you can get all three down, that's the best way to be, and rucking will definitely help you get there. Number eight, for those of you that aren't so introverted, or even for you introverted people, ruck marching will absolutely help you to make more friends and, and get out there and mingle a little bit. Now I'm kind of an introvert myself, you can see I'm rucking around by myself right now, but you know there's plenty of times when I get out there and I ruck around with a buddy or a couple buddies, um, we shoot the shit while we're ruck marching, and it allows us to catch up and really just kind of gives us an excuse to hang out. Rucking is a very easy activity to get out with your family, okay, your kids, your loved one. You can go to the park and if you're walking around with the kids or, or the dog, just throw a bag on your back, get a little extra weight and get a workout in while you're there. It's an easy way to get together with friends and loved ones. It's got massive health benefits for everybody and it's free. So the next time you're looking for something to do with your friends or you're just trying to get out of the house with somebody, maybe bring up going on a ruck. And even if it's your first time, it could be their first time as well and it's just something interesting that you could do together. And speaking of getting together to do a ruck march, that's gonna move me on to benefit number nine, and that is that rucking helps build competitiveness and camaraderie. Mainly that's through all the rucking competitions that you might see out there. There's a whole bunch of rucking challenges, rucking groups, rucking clubs out there. I see them all the time. There's a whole lot of reasons for these clubs to exist. Sometimes it's just to help build camaraderie in the community that they're in, or sometimes they're actually holding competitions, rucking competitions, who can finish the fast, fastest or who can go the longest. You can go out there and earn yourself some uh, medals that you're proud of. Um, a lot of times there'll be patches that you can collect. You may or may not have heard of uh, Go Ruck. You know, those guys are huge and people see a lot of benefits just from being part of that community and taking part of those competitive events. And finding something that you can be even just a little bit passionate about and help to, to build that competitiveness in yourself really does help you become a healthier person overall which ties directly back to the mental resilience aspect of rucking that we talked about before. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and look it up. Google ruck challenge or ruck club in my area and I bet you something will show up. It's pretty common. All right guys, we finally made it to the end. So the 10th and final benefit that I can think of with ruck marching is that anybody can do it. While there's different challenge levels to rucking in general, Anybody can get started at any time. Anybody can just grab a backpack. It doesn't have to be a fancy dancy DG3 from Crossfire like what I have. You don't have to be in the military. Anybody can just grab a bag, fill it up with a little bit of weight and go for a walk. It doesn't take a whole lot of practice with form. It doesn't take a whole lot of experience to get good at. Anybody can do it. Now I'll throw a few tips your way to get started, um, just in case you are somebody who's new at this. I would recommend that if it's your first time that you start off with about 10%, no more than 20% of your body weight when you're carrying weight. You don't wanna go too heavy too fast. And for your first few rucks, I wouldn't even worry about pace. I do recommend that you do keep pace, but don't look at it the entire time you go out. Turn on whatever app or tracker you're using for pace and leave it on until you're done just to see how fast you walked. And I think a good pace to build up to would be about 15 minutes a mile. And as far as distance goes, don't blow your O-rings out on the first go. Just go for a nice leisurely, you know, mile or maybe two miles for the first time, especially if you're not used to, you know, going that much of a distance in general, if you're not a runner or you don't really walk much and build up to it at a comfortable pace. And don't get lost. Make sure you know the route you're actually gonna take for your first few times. And after you get more accustomed to rucking 
and uh, you're used to being out there and walking around with a bag in your back for a long period of time, then you can go explore like we talked about before, right? And lastly, don't forget plenty of water and don't forget to bring a couple of granola bars or some sort of snack just to keep you sustained while you're out there and you start uh, burning off all that energy. And those are just a few tips to help you get started. You'll learn a lot more along the way. So that's a lot of benefits, right? I mean, rucking is obviously super good for you. You know, it's got physical, mental, and spiritual health benefits, a lot of them, and anybody can do it. So I highly recommend that if you haven't given it a shot or you're thinking about doing it more, obviously, yeah, I highly recommend that you do it. And rucking is one of those things that, you know, it kind of becomes like a hobby, okay? I'm not just doing this as a workout. I'm doing this because I actually want to be out here and I enjoy this. And I think for the majority of you out there watching this, you'd feel the same way if you give it a shot. So I hope breaking all that down was beneficial for you. Um, if there's anybody watching that has any benefits that I didn't think about, please go ahead and drop that in the comments for everybody, okay? This is supposed to be a video that's full of uh, positive and, and beneficial information for everybody that's watching it. So the more information that we can get from the community, the better. And if you have any uh, questions or if I just wasn't clear enough about anything that I talked about during this video, please go ahead and drop that in the comments. I do read the comments and I will try to get back to you. If you're interested in more about ruck marching, I have a whole bunch of ruck marching videos right here. I actually have a whole playlist full of ruck marching stuff that you should go check out. Remember, don't forget to put your name in for the contest for a completely free DG3 ruck from Crossfire. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. All right, and that's the winner is going to be drawn in about a week or so. Besides that, I've got nothing else for you, and I'll see you on the next one.